Mark Odette. And hear you sing one of the semi-finalists in our Valley Search for a Star. Joining me in studio is the winner of our Valley Search for a Star competition. Please say good morning to Sonia Bergen. How are you today, Sonia? I'm great. How are you, Andrew? A little tired after yesterday? Um, just a little bit. I was kind of lacking a bit of sleep, but uh, I'm excited to be here this morning. Because you had a, a, a literally a jam-packed day yesterday, right? It was pretty jam-packed from like the afternoon all the way to the night. <laughs> because you were you were originally supposed to perform for the Sunshine Coach Telethon, right? I was, yes. And then because you had made it to the finals, you then were singing over the Horton Community Center, but it didn't stop after that. No, it didn't stop actually because I had to head over to Mattaway to sing the national anthem for the Junior Bs. So that was pretty busy, but I definitely don't mind that. <laughs> So you were pretty much, after you, you got all of your accolades and, and trophies and stuff like that, you were pretty much ushered out and off to Mattaway to sing more. Yes, absolutely. So how did you find the competition from start to finish? Because you were here on our first week, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, I was. And then you got to see the competition all throughout. And from somebody who won, how would you gauge the competition level from the Ottawa Valley and those surrounding artists? You know, I was just astonished as to how much talent we have around here in the valley and um and that's why it's been such an honor and a blessing to have actually come this far in the competition and um because the talent was just phenomenal like you wouldn't think from a small area such as Renfrew and Horton and mm -hmm. um, all the other places that we'd have this much talent but it's been amazing and I feel uh, really blessed to have the opportunity were, were you surprised hearing some of the people coming from as far away as they did, you know, from Kingston and, and Belleville in that area? I was definitely about Kingston because I um, just realized yesterday, like she said, she's from Kingston. Mm -hmm. I was like, holy cow, like that's that's a ways away. Yeah. And I mean, to hear about the competition, I thought to myself, wow. They, and, you know, we had people listening from all over the world. There was uh, somebody who wrote to us from from China saying, hey, I'm listening to you guys from China. So it's uh, it's amazing how the Internet kind of brings everybody closer together. Absolutely. I think that's amazing from China. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Hello, China. <laughs> Now, uh, your mom is in the studio with us as well, Penny, and uh, were you guys surprised at how um, serious some of the competitors were taking this competition? Because some were here every week kind of scouting to see who was singing, and I think you guys were, were one of those, those people who were kind of always seeing what you were up against. We were. Um, we were kind of interested, you know, to see the other talent, but more so just for the enjoyment of music. Like, I mean, I really like going to events where you can just listen to different genres and different kinds of music. And uh, that was just an opportunity where, well, on a Wednesday night, we had nothing nothing else to do. So we thought we'd come out and check it out. <laughs> and does that, does that change your outlook for when you are going to be performing next? When you see artists that are there on like the second Wednesday and the third Wednesday, did that have any impact on what you were going to do in the semifinals? Um, not so much. I try to stick to, you know, what I'm comfortable with doing and what I'm used to doing. So, uh, just for me to, to witness the other performers was kind of, it, cause it kind of was intimidating because, you know, there's a lot of talent and I was just like astonished as to how, how good the vocals and, um, performances there were. So I, I don't know. It was kind of. It was bittersweet. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, next year, we're, we're hoping to do this again next year. Do you have any advice for those who are looking to uh, compete and be where you are now? Advice. I would definitely say to be yourself no matter what. You know, music is uh, definitely a journey and you always need to you always need to work on it because you're never going to. You know, you're never going to reach the point where you're completely satisfied. And that's kind of my personal opinion. But, you know, there's always room for improvement for everything. And I think music is definitely one of those things. So always, always work on what you can and do your very best. And now I, I noticed that, that some people, you know, when they got on stage, there was a little bit of that stage fright. Yet you seemed very, you know, composed on stage. Is that because you've been doing it so long? How do you get over that, that initial stage fright? Well, I think, and I'm pretty sure every musician knows this, like even the famous ones and in Hollywood, but um, I don't think the nerves will ever completely go away before mm -hmm. a performance, although sometimes people may be good at hiding it a little bit. Um, I think they're always going to be there, but you just have to, you know, 
practice it a lot, obviously, because mm-hmm. you want to be comfortable with what you're doing. Get the lyrics down, of course. Get the whatever you're doing on the guitar or piano. Um, and just, you know, go out there confidently um, and humbly and, and just do your thing and do what you enjoy. And now, how? It, so, so in other words, almost fake it. If, if, you, if you are feeling stage fright, go out there and fake it. Well, not so much. Maybe a little bit fake it, but just um, use that use that nervous energy Mm -hmm. to have kind of the adrenaline of the performance, if that makes complete sense. It's, it's, see, because I think you're, you're just at that level where you can, you can go on there and you can just, you can just bang it out and whatever comes out of your mouth sounds good because how important is song selection, do you think? I believe song selection is very important. Uh, Like they say on American Idol, like that's probably the key thing about your performance is, you know, you're going to pick a song that you, you are, of course, comfortable with and a song that shows your different ranges and shows your style, of course, because you don't want to do a genre that's completely out of your, your style. So that's very important, definitely. Now, yesterday you sang, uh, if I'm not mistaken, an original song that you wrote and then you sang uh, like a cover tune. Was that it? No, or two originals? Yes, two I originals. did two originals. See, that's how good you are. <laughs> that's how good you are. Uh, what made you decide to go with original tunes? Well, um, for the first one that I did, it was kind of a song that I wrote that was in the bluesy, jazzy kind of genre. And uh, it's one I've been practicing for quite a while. So I knew I'd be comfortable with it, for one. And um, I would show a different side of my uh, my musical um, capabilities, I guess. And, uh, and the second one I did was uh, quite important to me. I, I sung it for the very first uh, qualifying round of the uh, competition. And it, uh, the second song is called Moment With You and it was very important to me um, as for the lyrics and how it was written and based on. So I had to leave it all on the stage with that song. Well, we are looking forward to hearing you sing uh, right after our commercial break. Your mom actually had one of the highlight moments for me uh, as the MC because mom was taking this very seriously. I don't know if you knew that I saw you, but what, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, uh, I would tell awful jokes. And then there was one point where we were announcing who the last qualifier was for the finals and you were keeping track of who was moving on to the finals. And I was dragging out that last name and I could see you in there and you were just looking at me, willing me to just say that last name. And I said, okay, let, let, one more joke. And I, I saw your reaction. You stood up and you started yelling at the stage. Oh, no, no, goodness. just give us the name. Andrew, you're not supposed to do that. It's so funny. That's the, that's the highlight for me anyway. So listen, uh, you've got your guitar. You're all set to go. I, lo- I will let you get some up. We'll play some commercial breaks and then we'll come back and we will actually get a taste of what our listeners who weren't at the show yesterday, because it's going to be broadcast on Wednesday, uh, missed out on. So if you're ready to go, we'll just do a short little commercial break and we'll be right back. Perfect. We are back with our Valley Search for a Star winner, Sonia Bergen, after this. <laughs> Ten minutes away from 8 o'clock, joining me in the studio is 18-year-old Sonia Bergen, the Valley Search for a Star winner. Uh, before we get to her music, Mom, do you want me to... Some more jokes, maybe? No, no, we've had enough of Andrew. Uh, We've had enough jokes. (laughs) My biggest fan is right here. (laughs) Number one. Uh, Sonia, what are you going to be singing for us today? I'm going to be singing Skinny Love by Boni Fay. Have at it. Sonia Bergen, everyone. Come on, skinny love, just less the year And pour a little salt, we will never hear My, 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 my. Staring at the sink of blood and crushed for me Tell my love to make it all And cut out all the ropes and let me fall Mama, 
my, 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 right in the moment, and this sort of stuff. And I told you to be patient, and I told you to be fine, and I told you to be balanced, and I told you to be kind. In the morning I'll be with you, but it will be a different kind I'll be holding all the tickets, and you'll be owing all the fines Come on skinny love, what happened here? A circle on the hope and line press My, 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 Sally Load is full, so slow on the split. And I told you to be patient, and I told you to be fine, and I told you to be balanced, and I told you to be kind. In the morning I'll be with you, but it will be a different kind You'll be owing all the tickets, and you'll be owing all the fines Come on, skinny Nice job. Thank you. I hope I didn't freak you out because I'm just staring at you while you're <laughs> no, singing. I'm just good. captivated by the way you sing. Do you do you realize that you have a very identifiable voice? I mean, like, when you were hearing other people sing, you have to admit that you have a certain texture to your voice that maybe others don't have. Do you hear that as well? Um, Not really. Really? Well, so, it depends. Sometimes. Yeah. Um, I've, I've got told that, though, and I... I try to listen closely. I don't really listen to myself while I sing, but uh, whenever I listen on recording, it's kind of it's kind of different. Yeah, you should try listening. You're missing out. <laughs> it's really, really quite something else. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, now, before we get to your next song, I just want to remind you that uh, being the winner of our Valley Search for a Star competition, uh, you now have the opportunity to donate all the proceeds that we raised throughout the competition to a local charity. Now, I don't want to put you on the spot or anything like that. We were able to raise about. $1,350 when it was all said and done. Wow. Do you have a charity that you wanted to donate that money to? I do. I'd like to donate the money to the Sunshine Coach. Oh, wow. Congratulations. <laughs> that's, so, that's super. Now, now, why the Sunshine Coach? Well, um, for the past couple of years, I've been performing uh, for them for the telethon, and uh, I couldn't be there this year, but it's been a good um uh, charity to donate to because I know that um, the folks in Renfrew really appreciate it and I know my Nana, um, she really appreciates it as well and I believe she's listening right now. So, hi Nana. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a very worthwhile uh, organization and uh, a, a great, great idea behind that. Um, your next song, what are you going to be performing for us? I'm going to do an original for you. Oh. No one's ever heard it really. Uh, it's called Dangerous Gravity. <laughs> Whenever you're ready. <laughs> Sonia Bergen. If this is love, then why's my heart aching? Feels like I'm breaking from your every touch Baby, this can be an 
Now you're running away You knew that you would never say So fell into your gravity I tried so hard Knew you'd never feel the same Take me, oh, just break me Say you'll stay and walk out instead Baby, who was I kidding? Not a fool, but you sure fooled me Just waiting on, but it's fading I won't ever fall into your dangerous gravity Your poison's in the air Don't need it, but I do Feels like I'm addicted to This loveless love affair I couldn't see That it never did begin But baby, you pulled me in And making me burn Say you'll stay and walk out instead Baby, who was I kidding? Not a fool, but you sure fooled me Just waiting on, but it's fading And I won't ever fall into your dangerous gravity you but need to let you go you ignite a fire in my soul and now it's burning but I'm still yearning for Get into my head Take me, oh, just break me Say so you'll stay and walk out instead Wow! I almost started clapping at three different spots in that song. I was like, oh, yeah, no, 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 she's still going. Uh, <laughs> uh, we got to take a break for news. Sonia, thank you so much for stopping by. I, I hope that you can come by after you record your music with Wellcraft, just because I'd, I'd love to to just kind of have you back on the air and, and quiz you about how you go about writing your songs and your music and, and, and just do a little follow-up on how things are going. Definitely, I'd love that. Well, listen, congratulations again. You sound great. Uh, continued success and uh, all the best in the future. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Me here. Anytime. We got to take a break for the news.